All right, it's been a, a little bit since I have been on Periscope. I'm trying to do more Facebook Live videos, so I'm on Periscope today. There's something going on with Facebook Live. I'm not sure what it is, but that's all right. So, you, uh, some of you watch this later on, that's great. Hello, everybody that's joining. Hello, hello. Today, I want to talk about something um, in storytelling that I think gets missed. So, you know, if you watch this and get some value out of it, I'm happy I've done my job. Uh, first of all, let me announce myself. I'm Kathy Cloat's guest. I am the founder of Keeping It Human, and I have a book coming out on storytelling and great content through the power of improv coming out this summer. And you can go to keepingithuman.com slash stop boring me to find out more information and sign up for the newsletter. All right, so let's talk about story development because I think that's one of the things that's missing today in great business storytelling. So you're probably on the receiving end of a lot of stuff. I'm on the receiving end of a lot of stuff. And it's not very emotionally compelling. In fact, it's really horrible. And I think that is because sometimes when we get into business mode, we want to do an end run and shortchange the human element. So we just want to give facts and we want to get right to the point. And we want to talk about the, the, the exchange and the business of it. But we're missing the human story behind all of that. And it happens all the time. So don't feel bad. We've all done it. But here's the thing. When we miss character development, we are forgetting to pull people into the story. And that can actually compromise the quality of the story. So today is Tuesday Tip Day, and I want to just talk really quickly about a couple of tips that I use that work for me. So when you're talking about your story, again, you're not talking about the company did this, the company did that. Anchor it through the lens of a person because we can't hug a company, we can't high five a company. Most of the time we want to slap the crap out of companies, but companies aren't people. We can't relate. So really get your story right by anchoring it through the lens of a protagonist, a character that people relate to. So if it's an employee, great. If it's a customer, great. If it's a partner, great. But it's got to be a person. We need to identify with that person. Tell me about that person. What's at stake for that person? What happens if their, their conflict is not resolved? Why do I care about that person? What's not just the person's title, and we see this in business storytelling a lot, the CEO, the VP of development, uh, whatever, uh, the, the head of product, you know, that's all fine and dandy, but titles, hey Mark, titles don't tell us a whole lot. They don't tell us a whole lot about who the person is and what's at stake if those challenges are not resolved. So don't just give a title when you're doing your storytelling, give, something about that human being, what's at stake? I mean, it could be as simple as if they don't get funding, the the founders of a company are gonna have to fold and that's their baby. Maybe you have an entrepreneur who started uh, a technology company to create a product that would save lives because their own child needed it and it didn't exist on the market. Or maybe it could be as simple, it doesn't have to save lives. It could be as simple of you created a photo sharing app because you were on vacation once and lost all your images and you needed a better way to share information with your family spread across the world when you were traveling, i.e. Dropbox or something like that. So give me a little bit of personal background of why your, your company is personal to you. So whatever the challenge is, whatever the lens you're anchor, anchoring it through, there's a human being there with a human motivation. And who are they? Why do they care about? So if it is the VP of development that, that has to get something done, or maybe it's the CTO, well, what's going to happen if he doesn't scale the technology? He's probably out of a job, but it's his credibility on the line. Tell me about who this person is, who he or she is, what decisions they make. Are they new to the company? What kind of experience do they have? Do they have certain mannerisms? Do they have a certain laugh? Give me something that anchors it in humanity. Again, if you just give me a title and you short change to the transaction, I don't care because I can't relate to the character. So you've not brought me into the story. One of the examples I love to use is, what if I told you a story about a detective and this detective was really good at his job and he was based in the San Francisco Bay Area and he just had this penchant for, for details. And, you know, he was the kind of guy that just wouldn't give up on a case. Okay, that, that's, that's, that's interesting. But what if I actually added more? He's a widower. He's got ADD. He is very particular and he will rearrange the food on his plate because that's how he solves crimes. And he's so committed to order that that 
same tendency is how he's so passionate about solving crimes. Now that's the difference between a detective and that's the difference between Monk. <laughs> Monk is a human being fully fleshed out. Give a little bit of details because then we fall in love with that character, that story, we're brought into that story. So make sure that if there's a certain thing that's relevant to your story, a point of view, a relationship with the company, what's gonna happen to that character if the problem isn't solved? All these things need to be fleshed out. The more that you can give a real human depiction of your protagonist, the more your audience is on board with you and they will follow you through the story. If you just talk about title, the VP of the company had this problem. I don't even have a name. You can always, you know, leave out the last name and say, you know, Mark or Susan or Raj or whoever it is, but give them a name, make them real, make them somebody relatable, make them somebody that your audience can see themselves in. And that is a big, big thing. Because once you establish character, I'm gonna follow that challenge that you've set up and how that challenge is resolved all throughout the story. Now, there are times where you're not gonna give tons of detail if you're in a sales meeting, you may not. But if you're writing long form content and you're writing a case study, a customer success story, yes, give that detail. If you're doing a presentation um, in that context and you wanna pull your audience in, absolutely, you need more detail. So understand that this can be contextually driven but the more you skip on character, the more you sacrifice the human element in your story. So that's really my tip. And I, I say that because that is where I see one of the biggest shortcomings in business storytelling today. But if you don't pull me in at the beginning with character, you lose me and I don't care about the story. So make it human. All right, everybody, until Friday, I do these on Tuesday and Friday. And I also do Facebook Live um, Ask Kathy Anything on Tuesday and Friday. Uh, although it may not work today, because like I say, the platform keeps uh, going down on me. Um, anyway, everybody, I will see you Friday. Have a fantastic day. I'm Kathy Clotes Guest, and you can see me at keepingithuman.com. Take care.